All right, we're going to do a problem about a uh, standard deviation uh, hypothesis test. So it says a simple random sample of 46 men from a normally distributed population results in a standard deviation of 11.4 beats per minute. The normal range of pulse rates of adults is typically given as 60 to 100 beats per minute. If the range rule of thumb is applied to that normal range, the result of the standard deviation of 10 beats per minute. Uh, range rule of thumb, if you remember, uh, you take the range, which 100 minus 60 would be 40, uh, and you divide by 4, uh, and that gives you an estimate of the standard deviation. So that's the range rule of thumb. So that's where 10 comes from. The 40 divided by 4 is 10. Uh, use the sample results with a 0.05 significance level to test the claim that pulse rates of men have a standard deviation equal to 10 beats per minute. All right, so uh, standard deviation, um, and we're, we always test a, a claim about a parameter, so sigma, standard deviation. Uh-huh, there we go equal to 10 so equals always goes in the null so we either need answer A or answer C and since they said they want us to test the claim that it's equal therefore the opposite of that would be what's an A so there's your answer for that well done now uh, check it out here we're dealing with standard deviations so by the way if uh, if I'm working on the formula sheet that means I'm going to be in that last column that means uh, I need to check the conditions that it's a normal population so we need to check that uh, and I do believe that was in the very first sentence if we go back simple random sample from a normally distributed population so we're good there we're going to be using the chi-square distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. And then there's the rest of our formulas and also where to go in stat crunch down below. So if we go back, uh, now, one thing though about stat crunch, and I'm going to do my work this way, is stat crunch only uses variance. So our problem was about the standard deviation being equal to 10, but StatCrunch only uses variance. So uh, if sigma is 10, then sigma squared would be 100. All right. So I'm going to use those values because those are the values we have to put into StatCrunch. By the way, this was the claim. Uh, we did check our conditions. It did say it came from a normal population. So we got those. Uh, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my critical value. Uh, remember, n was, what was it, 45? Let's check it out. Uh, 46. N was 46, and alpha is 0.05 as usual. So n was 46, so by the way, that means our degrees of freedom is n minus 1, so 45. Alpha is 0.05. Now, because the alternative, alternative always tells you where the rejection region, because the alternative is not equals, uh, that's going to tell us this is two-tailed. So I need to go look up my critical values, get some rejection regions, um, and uh, get that going. So I'm going to do that in StatCrunch. So give me one second while I log in there. Okay, now that I'm in StatCrunch, uh, I can get those critical values. Uh, remember, critical values always come from the calculator. I am using a chi-squared distribution. So there it is. And now the degrees of freedom is 45 because there was 46 members, degrees of freedom n minus 1. Uh, we got to be careful. Now it's 0.05 is my alpha, but because it's two tailed, that gets split. So 0.025 on one side. So there's what my distribution looks like with the degrees of freedom. So uh, one side is 28.3. So if I kind of draw this out, looks like over here, 
so chi squared so L that's my critical value on that side I'll say 28.3 now chi squared is not symmetric uh, so we need to go back and we're gonna flip this around to the other side and a 0 0.025 on that side because again we're splitting our alpha so 65.4 Again, this all just kind of gives us an idea. So there we go. Okay, uh, next thing would be our test statistic. Again, I like to write my formula. So test statistic would be, uh, if I can't remember, n minus 1 times s squared over sigma squared. There it is s squared over sigma squared. Uh, sigma squared is 100, that's from our null. What's s squared? Well, in the problem, uh, they tell us that uh, the sample standard deviation was 11.4. So if I write that in here, sigma is 11.4 and therefore sigma or not sigma I'm sorry that's from a sample so that's s be very careful and so s squared is 11.4 squared which would be let's get the calculator out 129.5 and again, the reason why I changed that into S squared is because that crunch is going to want the variance. It only works in variance, unfortunately. So if I go into stat crunch, uh, I can uh, go stat, variance stat, stats, one sample, and I have a summary. Uh, what's my sample variance, which we were just talking about, that's 129.5. Uh, nine six. Uh, sample size was forty six. Uh, again, see how it says sigma squared there. So again, Stat Crunch only uses variance, um, and uh, alternative is not equal. So that is correct. So there it is. Uh, our chi squared stat, in other words, our test statistic is fifty eight. 0.482 so this is going to be equal to 58.482 uh, by the way our p-value uh, it tells us uh, what was our p-value there whoops wrong page 0.1711 so again our conclusion uh, well has a p compared to alpha since P, well, what is alpha? Alpha was 0.05. This is clearly greater. Uh, so remember, if the P is low, the null has got to go. But the P is not lower than alpha. Uh, so we are not going to reject since uh, P is greater than alpha. We fail to reject the null. And so, by the way, if uh, chi squared is 58.42, that's going to be somewhere around here, right? Uh, because that right critical value is 65, so we're a little shy of 65. And so, yeah, by our picture, we're not in that rejection region. Uh, the P and alpha comparison works. By the way, if we fail to reject the null, the claim was in the null, and so we therefore support the claim. So there it is. That problem's done. Uh, I got all my parts there. Done it. Did a real nice thorough job. Uh, but let's go over and uh, put all these answers into uh, my math lab. So what was uh, what was chi squared? That was fifty eight point four eight two. And does say round to three decimal places. Nice work. 
p-value uh, that was oh, let's go a little bit higher where is that 0 0.1711 0 0.1711 it does say four decimal places uh, and so we um, do not reject the null because the p-value is greater than the level of significance and there is insufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim. Nice work. So there it is. So there was a problem uh, beginning to end uh, and how to use it or how to go through everything in StatCrunch. Uh, so hope that helped and uh, catch you on the next video.